Hi there, Frank here for Premium Members for the trading day of September the 6th, 2024, a Friday. So here we are, markets, at least the indexes are breaking down, the shorts are working. If you're short, manage your trade. If you're flat, let's see what comes out of this and how far the selling spree can take us. And also, we are active on currencies, 6E and 6S. So let's look at those. The so 6E has triggered, for us anyway, so we're long here. And the four-hour structure, the bear flag, is failing as we assumed. This is what it is now. And the 6S is also moving to the upside. So this is a good example. Put this in your books. This is an example for a failed structure. This was, of course, just to recap the whole situation. This was a bear flag. By default, we trade it to the downside, except when we don't. And when do we not take it or trade it to the downside? When we have indication from the market that the structure is about to fail. And that is shown by candles indicating that this is not going to break down. Look at these. Um, at this top tail, we still had a chance, but this green candle, that's when we changed sides, or at least went flat. We don't have to change sides. We just go from bearish to flat first. And then this bottom tail indicates that so far our assumption has been correct. It can still do anything. Anything can happen anytime, but so far it is working out for us. And as we speak, since we put everything we do on the daily context, this is triggering now on the daily, you see? So this is how it works. Put this in your book. Trading pattern failures is a powerful ingredient of a successful trading strategy. All right, so let's move on. What is not triggering yet is gold and silver, but this is also a situation where the bearish structure is failing. So same lesson, same story. First of all, let's start at the beginning. What is this? You should know already, of course, at 3 a.m. in the morning, what this is. This is a pattern failure. This is a failure test, sorry, a failure test. Look at this. It's also a pattern failure, of course. And the pattern failure started with a failure test. Look at these one, two powerful green candles taking us back where the sell-off began. Anyway, we're moving to the upside now and look at the bottom tails. This is suggesting that the daily will trigger to the upside. This is how we think. Another pattern failure. In this case, it started with a failure test and so far our assumption is good. Now, since gold is moving up, it's a good idea to look at silver. What is silver doing and platinum for that matter? And silver is giving us a bull flag at this moment and a potential measured move on the daily time frame and a what is now a bull flag on the weekly time frame. So for us, nothing really has changed and we are cautiously bullish on silver. Well, we are bullish on silver. The task and the job is to find entries that we can handle and entries and trades which fit into our trading plan. And that goes as a general rule for everything we do. There are opportunities we identify and then we have to face the question or answer the question, does this fit into my plan? If it fits into your plan, this bull flag here, that's something that you have to decide. And as always, of course, the futures markets are available and ETFs are also available, SLV or whatever country you're trading the same or similar market in. Okay, and then we have another asset class, treasuries, which are beautifully playing out as we expected. Look at that. The, the four-hour chart has run away, but since the daily looks good, I would still focus on the daily, which is triggering now. Look at this after-hours action here. I think it's worth going for this, especially since the weekly structure gives us this beautiful consolidation area right after the breakout from the wedge, you see? So volatility compression, breakout, and the consolidation. This is classic stuff. Also should be in your book, and it's worth trading these structures. And of course, in this case, the trade is actually on the weekly. So again, there's a mathematical calculation we have to carry out. Does it fit into our trading plan? Do we have the money to afford this trade? 
Can we find a way to do this trade? Is there an ETF that allows us to profit from this opportunity? These are the questions that we have to answer. And we have to answer them now because the trade is triggering. Same thing on the, let's see, the ZF and the ZN. So this is a five-year treasury and the 10-year treasury. The risk is a little different, so look it up, do your calculation, and see which one works for you best. We also were looking at some wheat, potential long, but not much has happened today. We have a bull flag on the four-hour chart. If this is all that we're gonna get before we have to go long, that's something we have to wait and see. But since the treasuries look pretty good, and the currencies are a market that we're active on. We're not really pushing this wheat opportunity right now. Also, the weekly, there's nothing bullish about the weekly yet. Okay, so this is uh, what we're dealing with now. And remember, 8.30, there's important news, which probably will become a catalyst. And remember what the catalyst means for us. Catalyst is just an excuse for the market to do something big. What will happen, we don't know, but manage your risk, and 8.30 is Eastern time, is where you have to be careful. All right, so this is it, and we'll be back in the morning. Until then, mindful trading.